You know how there's some people who struggle with basic things like what is a man, what is a woman, did the Holocaust really happen, uh, is the world flat, did Hamas really behead babies, throw babies in ovens just like Hitler, uh, kill pregnant women, rape, uh, murder, burn people alive, cut limbs off people, like, did all this really happen or is it just propaganda, lies by the Zionist controlled US media? Oh, what is, you know, oh, I need patience, I need patience for these people. I need, I need patience. Uh, it's ridiculous. You know, they, Hamas admitted to everything. They provided video evidence. They glorified it. They, they rejoiced in it. Uh, not only did they behead babies, they put one in an oven, they turned it on, they raped its mother as it's the baby screaming next to her. They took a video of murdering a grandmother, posting it on her own Facebook page, uh, calling up their parents saying, I killed more, I killed 10 more Jews. You know, Hamas is a terrorist group, internationally known terrorist group. But, you know, Is al-Din al-Qassam, terrorist group, Palestinian Islamic Jihad, terrorist group, ISIS, terrorist group. Um, you know, they, they've been attacking Israel and, and desiring to murder innocent people way before, way back, years ago. You know, there's been terrorism even be, before Israel was even formed. But look, they use humans, uh, people as human shields. And anyone who supports Hamas, they're supporting terror. They are a terrorist. You know, and, and we are standing on the side of no terrorism. Let's have free uh, country. Let's have a democracy, a, a constitutional democracy. Let's stand for what's right. Let's stand for morals, the morals of the Bible. And this is where the line is going to be drawn. In the ashes, in the um, a place where there was strewn hundreds and hundreds of bodies of Jewish people, innocent people, babies uh, killed, uh, people dismembered, uh, their their hands, their genitals chopped off, um, and it's just ridiculous. And so, in this place of, of darkness, where things were firebombed, where there was mortars, where there was RPGs, where there was uh, just bullets strafing everything, innocent people who who are having a high holy day in their tabernacle, and to see their houses burnt. We're, we're standing in the gap and saying, no more. No more is that going to happen. And we're believing for new life to come. Jewish people are praying every day to Michie Hamatim, the God who resurrects the dead. And we're believing for a resurrection uh, in this place of, of, of uh, death, Kfar Aza. Same thing in Beri, same thing in, in uh, Nachalos, Nir Yitzchak, all the places where that have been just decimated by a massacre. The, how can humans derive pleasure from such obscenities? How can they do that? I don't know. It's people that have been depraved in their spirit. They have, they are essentially animals and uh, zombies. And so what we're praying though is for victory of the, of the light over darkness, for the darkness to scatter and for there to be a new day dawning, even in this new year here in Kfar Aza with Mike Pence and with uh, Trey and many others and, and being able to walk through this it reminds us that at all costs we must not give up we must not surrender we must defeat the evil and uh, light will shine and scatter the darkness and that is what the IDF will continue to do until all the hostages are returned and Gaza will never again pose a threat against the free world not only Israel thought I'd live to see the day that we would speak about an attack on the people of Israel that would be compared to the Holocaust. But this was the worst attack on the Jewish people since the Holocaust. And to be here today, to walk in this kibbutz, to walk to see the bullet holes, to hear the harrowing stories, to speak to hostage families, to me just reinforces the fact that this was not simply one event. This was an invasion by a terrorist Hamas army from Gaza uh, that was supported and subsidized by their patrons uh, in Tehran and that uh, it's absolutely essential uh, that, uh, that we stand by Israel while Israel finishes this fight and destroys Hamas once and for all and ends the threat to their country and frankly the threat of Hamas terrorism across the region. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Well said. Yeah. I just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart for these tactical helmets and equipment that you have blessed us with.
לי באופן אישי זה מאוד 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 עוזר. Personally, it has really helped me out. It has made life easier for us and it's comfortable. And of course, it protects us from the dangers that are out there. And uh, really, it warms our hearts that there are people like you who care for us. Thank you so very, very much.